Hey guys, Dave from Nerdarchy, for Nerds, by Nerds, hang out with these nerds. I'm Ted. I'm Ryan. And uh, today we want to review, preview, and talk about the new uh, live action Tick series from Amazon. Go to jump down in the description below. You can sign up for Nerdarchy, the newsletter. It's a great way to learn how to game with us as well as get we uh, gaming tips. Spoon! Yeah. We did not hear them we say did, that. Yeah, he did not come into that, and we did not get Arthur's classic battle cry. Not in the face! <laughs> but well, but I feel like uh, episode two might have the not in the face. Might include it, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So the the tick is Peter Serafinowitz, if I pronounce that correctly. Uh, and I think he did a pretty decent job. You guys? I, I thought the acting was really good, uh, but I didn't like the casting as much. Like you were saddened by the lack of the giant jawline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like they needed to either CGI that or prosthetic or something, <laughs> man. They, like it's the tech, man. He needs it. It's his weapon of choice. <laughs> yeah, I do like the fact that like throughout the whole thing, like his his major combat move was basically a bitch slap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was not a refined fighter. Yeah. So, uh, you know, what, what, what you get is 30 minutes on Amazon Prime. So if you're a member of Amazon Prime, you can check it out. Hey, if you want to check it out and you're not a member of Amazon Prime, you can sign up for the for the, for the free trial if you haven't already before. You get 30 days, right? Yeah, you get like 30 days. So that's I, you could probably finagle like a minute a day to check out the tech yeah, yeah. and get it under wraps before you have to pay. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description below. If you happen to join by that link, it helps Nerdarchy out a lot. So we appreciate that. Yeah, and it'll Cost you nothing. Um, so I I was scrolling through Amazon today when I when I noticed that there was a tick series. I'm like, ooh, I want to check this out. I honestly I have Amazon Prime, but I usually don't use the video feature. I, I am terrible about using the video. Yeah, but th th there's basically movies and shows on Amazon Prime. Indeed. Like I, if you're into drama, Transparent, which is Jeffrey Tambor, is a very it's you know it's a very good dra dramatic show. So. so now apparently they're, it seems like they're trying to compete with Netflix. Yeah, and they're doing a pilot season right now. Of, yeah. of uh, So it's just a pilot episode of The Tick, and there's two other shows, and I think they're all kind of like running head to head to head. It was, it was a Van, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, there's a Jean Claude John, Van Damme show. But it was Van Cla uh, John Claude Van Johnson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? And it totally looks, that one actually looks pretty funny too. So, yeah, I might have to check that out. And yeah. the other one was. Uh, what was it? I like Dick or something like that? I yes. love Dick. I, I love, love Dick. Dick. Yeah. You heard it first, folks. <laughs> it's the name of the show. Yeah. So right now, like I think they're they're kind of getting feedback and having people vote on what one you would want to see. Uh, we we only watched the Tick. We checked that out. I uh, think you know it speaks to our childhood. I think uh, <laughs> more so you guys than me. I spent quite a few Saturday morning cartoons watching the Tick series, and I do have the first season on on DVD. Nice. So. You know, so I felt like the I felt like they really did capture the feel of the cartoon. Uh, the the acting was all uh, done really well. Pretty much, it, it made me want to like I kept wanting to check the time to see like oh my god how much not like Ted like to do, he has this like test he does for movies and shows and stuff is like <laughs> where he checks his watch to see. You know, I don't wear a watch, but my my, my test when I'm watching a, a movie typically in the movie theater is do I get drawn in enough that. I completely lose track of time. If at any point in time I would check my watch to see how much time has passed, it's like a check mark. Against it, it's, it. it's my check mark to say, okay, all right, this did not pass that test. So I have like this opposite thing where I'm like, I want to know how much time's left because how much of this thing do I have left? Mm, right. and, you know, am I, am, do I get another ten minutes, like another five minutes, or in a minute or so, am I done and I mm. get no more? Yeah, you know, it's like I start twitching. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it definitely leaves you, it draws you into wanting to watch next the, 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 the next, next episode, episode that that doesn't exist or you don't have access to. So th this one, I certainly felt that I would be compelled to watch episode two right away if it were there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you guys feel. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. it made me want to watch episode two. I I don't know if I'm I'm completely hooked on the show yet. But I am hooked on wanting to see more of the show to find out if I'm hooked on the show. Mm. Yeah, because yeah, it's very much this sort of like origin story sort of situation, and like it takes some very dark turns, which I was pretty happy with. Like it's sure. it is a very like adult sort of series. It seems like what they're doing with and this. the comedy is kind of like raunchy and. Uh, and probably right up our alley, really. There's yeah. there's definitely some, some moments. Uh, that weaponized I, syphilis. <laughs> and then shot to death. And then shot to death. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't good enough. So uh, it was there was definitely some moments like that that were quite hilarious. 
<laughs> your reindeer are on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like right in the beginning. Within the first um, 30 seconds. Yeah. But there are there are some artistic moments that I thought were, were really nice. In the beginning, they talk about the, the age of superheroes or the dawn of the age of superheroes. And as the first superhero was coming to the Earth, it, it enters Earth's atmosphere. And it was nice to see that sonic boom of, of the this meteorite essentially uh, moving through Earth's atmosphere. It's like, that's nice. There's no reason that had to be done, but it was put in there because that's what would happen. Yeah, it was kind of like a... Uh, su- there's a Superman-esque character that I hope we get to see a little bit more of. Superion. Yeah, which he kind of also makes me think of Supreme a little bit from the old image. Like where you think he's going to actually turn out to be kind of a jerk. Yeah, I think I think that's what's going to happen. He's going to be We can only dead. hope. Yeah. All right, I, I see, uh, there's two speculations I have here. Either he's going to turn out to be a jerk... Or he's gonna get killed. Mm. That that's. Or he is the main villain. <laughs> yeah, that could be it too. Uh, I, I don't see it going that way, but you never know. We we also had a uh, guest cameo from Whoopi Goldberg. Yep, Indeed, that happened. Yep, uh, as know, a talk show host. Yeah, and you know, basically, also we had. Uh, you know, author watching that interview on YouTube. Yeah. Right. So that was kind of cool, like it's the pretty, social media. Pretty good meta, yeah. 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 Um, and so the casting of uh, Arthur was really good. Uh, Griffin Newman definitely has that sort of like, uh, just like the very twerpiness to him and very like. Uh, he, he, he did the nervous vibe quite, he, quite easily. Yeah. Yeah. He was very facile and uh, facile. And uh, I can't wait to see, you know, another, hopefully I would like to see another episode of, of his battle cry. Not um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so I guess here's the deal like if you guys would like to check this out or if you've already checked it out and you want to see more of this there, there's got there's some kind of feedback or voting process it's on Amazon. probably the review process I would imagine like the, the you know five star review um, we're one of the five stars what you think you can put it down and I'm, I'm thinking that they're probably gonna match all the shows one up up against each other based on average reviewing. More than likely. So, yeah, so what we need all you guys to do is put negative reviews on the other ones. And positive <laughs> ones on the, no, don't do that. But no, it would be cool if you guys went and checked it out. And if you like to drop a review, I think we're going to have to do the same. India, yeah, for sure. Because uh, we'll like just it. be like, Nerdarchy says, and that should be worth like X amount of four star <laughs> reviews or something. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, like a minus five or something. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> the black hole of Nerdarchy. Uh, so, with that, guys, check it out. It was, it's, it's a fun little ramp, romp, 30 minutes. Let, if you watched it already, let us know what you think in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. As Dave says, you know, you can click the link to sign up for Amazon Prime. It helps us out. The link is down below. I was going to say that, but you can check <laughs> us out over on Instagram as well. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.